Uh, this is the steering head bearings. I removed from my nipper. It's 40 years old. And as you see, it has some pitting here and here. And that's why you have some kind of biting once you rotate steering bar. It rotates like this. It's not working smoothly anymore, and this bearings need to be replaced to replace bearings you need to remove front fork take off cross piece steering column covers i was able to knock off this bearing race from the column but for the upper race i had to use grinder and dremel tool both steering head bearings are installed on all the nippers and older urals they're using tapered bearings and urals starting 2008 i've got two tapered bearings uh, manufacturer is auc and size is 51 34 and 12 outer race is detachable the issue with the bearings is that they have a shape like this this is an outer race this would be a separator and inner race something like this and now we've got separator touching the bearing housing here that's why we need to use a shim i had to get a pack of shims and had to trim inner diameter of the shim to be about 47 millimeter to fit exactly the outer race of the bearing Now we insert a shim and the outer race to the bearing housing. But before we put lots of grease in it. Once the race is pressed, we need to make sure it sits equally all the way around. And I use just hammer to gently tap some sides to make it equal. Measuring again and make sure it sits well. Now we try to insert the whole bearing in it, make sure it freely rotates. I used hammer for just gentle taps. If you need to knock it in harder, just put some maybe plastic or wood on top of the race because it can be easily damaged okay now we put our bearing on the steering column stem so first of all it's going to be washer rubber ring and after that bearing i mean uh inner race and separator which are kind of one piece i'm going to use cardboard tube from plastic wrap to press bearing in
washer is not moving but separator is spinning bearing should be greased and i decided to put some grease on the stem to prevent rust Now we screw bearing nut all the way down to make sure that steering column is not moving or moving very very hardly and after that we do like half a turn back counterclockwise and we need to find the position where column is rotating freely but doesn't have play so it takes some time to adjust to lose now it's good time to put covers on there is a rubber ring inside Tightening the bolt to fix the fork in place. Installing ceiling rings. Okay, now there is a cross piece, lock washer, and a nut. It should be a small gap between that nut and the spring assembly. Once we screw in that big tightening nut, we still need to make sure that the gap is preserved. It's pretty hard to do, it takes some time. Now the gap is too big, we have to redo it and make it smaller. Alright, now it's good.
it's hard to push the tightening nut all the way down to secure the fork so that's why we need to pull the fork all the way up and we need to tight this nut to secure the fork in upper position now we just pull lower part of the fork down and that's how we easily secure the nut make sure everything is tight Lock washer should be bended a little bit before installation, so you just need to do several taps to lock the nut. Okay, now it looks like this. There is some kind of gap here, and I guess the bike sits a bit lower than it used to be but otherwise it works great there is no issues steering the bike anymore 